Hi, this is Tarot Reader. Uh, in this month of April 2023 and the next month, that's May 2023, uh, there are some dates which are very important or have some sort of a significance, okay, for people who are into occult, for people who are into Wiccan rituals or, or any kind of magical or, or metaphysical activities. Uh, the first date is which is the 5th or the 6th of April that's the full moon in, in April 2023 now this a, this full moon is a pink moon okay for someone who's looking for new relationship for someone who is eagerly awaiting for a new person to enter your life or someone who is in a relationship where you do not know exactly whether this is a relationship which is worthy to carry it forward you know sometimes you are in relationships or equations where you do not know because there's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of confusion. You do not know whether to continue with the relationship. Is it worth the effort? Because no one wants to live in a sense of regret later on. That is this relationship worth it? Okay. Although we may, may not get an answer. I mean, that's again a probability. But the point is that you're looking for that, that, that inner voice of yours to tell you or some sort of an answer or an acknowledgement, okay? Is it worth to continue with this relationship or do you need to take a back seat or do you need to withdraw? What exactly you need to do, okay? Uh, keeping two things in mind that whatever decision you take is, is something that is wise. It's, it's something that you don't regret in the long run, okay? And uh, the relationship uh, decision that you take should not be a hyper one. If suppose if it's this is not a relationship meant for you in the long term, but does it is is it important for for the present? Because sometimes you need some people in your life, even if they are toxic, maybe for the time being. Because if they are not there, then the absence can be more toxic than the presence. Okay, so to to exactly find an answer for for this kind of a chaos or confusion in your life. Okay, so what ideally is uh, you know Instagram. YouTube is filled with really good rituals, okay? I mean, look out for the rituals which are not charging you, okay? Where it's clearly the details, the ingredients, the, everything is mentioned, you know? You get some amazing invocations because I keep hunting for them, honestly, okay? So, uh, try to do any of those candle rituals, the red candle or the dark pink or the dark magenta colored, okay? Reading any of the invocations of Aphrodite, or, or any of the goddess invocations, okay? Especially for someone looking for new love, okay? Do the ritual for someone looking for any element of clarity, okay? It's better you take your partner's picture, light the red or the pink candle, keep the candle on top of the picture, okay? And and read the invocation and pray and, and let the divine decide what 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 is uh, in store for you you may find an answer you may not find an answer okay but one thing is good when you put it out in the universe you put it out across uh, the other dimension that you're looking for an answer because sometimes we are so closed in our own emotions okay we don't want to look for for an answer outside we are like adamant we have to find an answer within this or we are adamant that this is the person and we have to make it happen but you know you can't make everything happen right sometimes you have to give up at some stage so yes so the 5th and the 6th of april this ritual is something that is good you can also search out for many other rituals online okay but the dates are important okay any ritual you do to invite a new partner to get clarity or even if you want to strengthen your existing relationship please do the rituals on these two any of these two days depending on the location you are in and and the moon is at its peak okay uh, but for someone who is in a chaotic relationship uh, don't run away from questioning that relationship at least within yourself because sometimes we need to have doubts we need to have more clarity because it's you're never going to be in a situation which is going to be 100% right or 100% wrong even the most negative one will give you some positive result at some stage and the most positive one will also have some side effect you will have to pay a price for the second date okay is the 22nd of april the country in which i reside this is an important auspicious date it's called as akshay tritya so this is a date when they say whatever you do it it, it keeps happening throughout the year okay uh, uh, lord vishnu or or in, in in the typical planetary combination uh the uh, the jupiterian element okay the the deity helps you uh, to ensure that 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 uh, that indulgence or whatever you you do is something that is consistent throughout the year okay normally people buy expensive jewelry it could be gold could be diamond so that you are rich enough throughout the year to be able to purchase something so luxurious 
okay um, buying uh, maybe an expensive clothing or maybe a perfume bottle or anything related to your line of profession let's say if you're someone who uses gadgets a lot so maybe buying an ipad sleeve in, in pure leather or or in a dark color like maroon brown camel brown or even uh, uh, you know uh, if you're if you're someone who's into into uh, makeup and all on all those stuff on youtube you're a blogger who's into who's also an influencer then maybe you can buy in a few makeup your makeup items which you're going to be using but this sh these should be items which are not exactly for review these are items which you're going to indulge in you already know their quality you've used them before but something luxurious something you'll use it occasionally throughout the year whenever you find important work yeah but 22nd april is important so if you are looking for love relationships money try to buy maybe something maybe a stole maybe a scarf but something like luxurious something expensive maybe in dark pinkish like rose pink color very dusky very matte but strong pigmented one uh, even even if you wish to buy it in mustard yellow or dark burgundy those kind of colors yeah but please do buy or maybe a perfume bo uh, uh, bottle or or uh, an order perform or a toilet or or an or an ether bottle a perfumed oil but it should be a strong pungent fragrance maybe something which is saffron based okay or, or sandalwood based okay something very strong pungent with that exotic uh, uh, element in that fragrance which which is very unusual and something that you're going to uh, you know you should feel luxurious when you use it okay so something that, that of that kind needs to be purchased on that day yeah uh, the third date is the 19th of May, okay? That's the day when we, uh, in the country in which I reside, we worship uh, Lord Saturn on that day because that's the day he's born. That is the uh, no moon day. And that is falling on a Friday. So for those who have been into toxic relationships in your life or you've been into relationships where you have literally no control or you've been through any sort of endless pain, maybe, maybe legal battles, I think this day is very auspicious, especially when it comes to uh, overcoming any any pattern in your life which is something beyond your reach or anything which has been giving you trouble for years years and years okay so burning maybe a red candle a dark red pillar candle but something which is like two inches thick okay in in dark red blood red color or maybe in black color or maybe both okay uh, if you have buried your near and dear ones maybe on their grave you can offer it you can burn the candles maybe one red one black okay uh, if you're not from a religion where you where the dead are buried in your religion then maybe you can just offer uh, burn a red and a, a black candle on a grave which is nearby where you live okay and preferably try to buy something in black purple or dark red anything maybe it could be inner wear it could be a work shirt okay uh, but buy it on that day yeah yeah and if you wish to buy any uh, a silver item okay any pure silver or, or platinum item if your budget allows you on that day yeah and wear it only on important days when you know that there is something uh, that's important okay maybe you have to meet someone you have loved or, or there's a new person you connect with on a dating app and you end up discovering that this is someone you really like okay or maybe there's a court date or something something which is very important and, and critical at that point in time yeah and try to ensure that when you're performing these three uh, uh any rituals on these three dates okay you're wearing the colors those which are ruled by these things like on the fifth and the sixth try to wear something which is in reds or pinks or, or burgundies you know and on the 22nd of april something in in in, in, in mustard yellow or, or muddy yellow or maybe dark brown or burgundy even dark purple yeah and on the 19 something in black dark purple blood red yeah i hope i've not offended yeah blessed be thank you